Oh. Are you like a lot of the golfers we see that struggle with fat shots on the wet ground? A lot of elbow pain when you chunk it, or if you're trying to correct it, you thin it really short. Have you tried dry needling, grasting, and soft tissue massage into the elbow with no results whatsoever? I'm telling you to stop doing that right now because it's probably not just a problem with your elbow. One of the things with Will here is we've got to work on eliminating thins and fats, especially with a guy with his swing speed. A lot of the times, even with professional golfers that have these sorts of problems, it's not an elbow problem, it's a problem up in the shoulder. Let's take you through something that we see all the time that's gonna help not only your golf game, but get rid of elbow pain on your trail side and your lead side as well. So I want Will to get set up for a shot here and show you something that we see all the time. So if I step back out of the way and I tell Will to take a slow backswing and not hit me in the face, a lot of golfers are working on shallowing the club to get an inside to out club path because they originally started golf way too outside slicing the ball. The problem is if Will here doesn't have good shoulder external rotation in his trail arm, he is not gonna be able to shallow without making a compensation. The most common thing people do that bothers their elbows is extending through the wrist. Now, for a lot of our golfers, when we assess them on a three-dimensional uh, motion analysis called a K-Vest, we can see wrist speeds close to 2,000 degrees per second, which is pretty fast. Now, if I'm jamming my wrist into extension every single time I take a swing, I'm going 2,000 degrees per second right into the thick, chunky grass down here. You do that over and over and over again, I guarantee you, your elbows and your wrists are gonna have problems. So the number one thing that we work on, let's go ahead and drop the club, Will, and let's go into our shoulder external rotation test. Now, some of you that are watching a lot of our YouTube videos have probably seen this test before, but I'm here to tell you again just how important it is. So if I have Will act like he's hitting a pitching wedge, all right, and I get his trail arm into an elbow at shoulder height position, and if Will can't comfortably rotate that forearm by himself, oh, that doesn't look comfortable, Will. If he can't get this forearm past the angle of his spine, I'm gonna tell him that either he needs to learn how to play a cut or he needs to loosen this shoulder up maybe with some soft tissue mobilization, maybe with some activation exercises, so that we can start getting this movement in his golf swing that will allow him to shallow the club, stop thinning it, stop chunking it, and take some pressure off of this trail elbow. Now, a lot of golfers that we see as well have problems on the lead side. I'll tell you the exact same things. Yes, maybe some of these tissues in the forearm are irritated, but that is a symptom of your problem. That is not the cause. If again, you've gone through dry needling, ultrasounds, e-stem, you've iced and heated your arm so much that you're affecting climate change and it hasn't fixed it, I will guarantee you that that shoulder rotation limitation is what's causing your problem. So again, we're gonna do the exact same test on the left side. If Will can't get that arm past his spine angle, in a golf posture, because that's where we need to use it, right? If we can't do that, he's gonna continue to have problems until we clear that up. So just to recap real quick, Will, we gotta get this shoulder moving a little bit better so you stop beating up my mat down here and I keep hearing you chunk it while we're here in the facility. If you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment. You can reach out to us online. We might also throw the full home assessment that's free into the show notes down below, okay? Not only will we show you how to assess and grade your shoulder, we'll show you how to assess and grade your hips and your upper back, because all of those are probably limiting your ability to have a comfortable, fast, and good golf swing. From Par for Success, my name is Bobby, and I'll see you guys next time.